Hey guys, before the video begins, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little alert about my Discord that I have in the description. The link is down in the description and on there. I'm very, I'm fairly active. There's a whole subsection for just talking, scariest media requests, and just memes and uh, best moments from any of the videos on my channel. Just go ahead and click on the link down in the description, send an invite over, and you'll be accepted on in. We're right now trying to build a community, and yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys. On, anyways, on to the video. Tell me, what songs do you think of when I say the term atmosphere? Some people would say that they think of stuff like the Interstellar soundtrack, and others would say that they think of something more like Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd is a psych rock band known for their experimental rock efforts. Pink Floyd is a band that represented the 70s sound with memorable songs helping to define the 70s and into the early 80s. During the 70s, it was a time of political unrest with the Vietnam War raging for much longer than it should have. Protests were everywhere due to the prevalence of the war in Vietnam, and we see many, many bands start to emerge as revolutionaries preaching the message of love and non-violence. These bands would preach messages about freedom, the pursuit of happiness, love, and how meaningful life is. One band that is known for preaching these messages with a tad bit of sleaziness and stoic poetism is the Jim Morrison-led band The Doors. Don't get me wrong, these guys could definitely create a dark song if they wanted to. But the main thing that The Doors is remembered for is their free-spirited nature that dabbled in all of the pleasures of life. Whether it be drugs and alcohol or love and sex, the band would talk about it all. Jim Morrison, despite these discussions of pleasures, is still seen to this very day as a poet, akin to someone of a 70s Shakespeare. By various accounts since his passing, he is known as one of the most beautiful lyricists of all time. As I said, Jim Morrison passed away in the summer of 1971 in Paris, France. He passed away from congestive heart failure and was found in a bathtub in his girlfriend's hotel room. What was left behind was a legacy that is unmatched by many others of his contemporaries. With this legacy, he will always be remembered as a rider on the storm, as this is how he saw himself. The death of Jim Morrison is a dark ending for a band's legacy such as The Doors, and with this fun-loving spirit that they had obtained, we see in their final song ever made, Jim Morrison's final song, that they were able to create one of the darkest songs in their prolific catalog. As previously stated, Jim Morrison saw himself as a rider on the storm, a spirit traveling this twisted and mad road we call life. It's not a coincidence that Jim Morrison, in the months leading up to his death, named a song based off this very idea. In the song Riders on the Storm, we see Jim Morrison discuss the meaninglessness of life in the darkness within. In this atmospheric tale of the dark corners of life, we see a story of men being thrown into this world without purpose, struggling to find it, and with an added touch of a hitchhiking serial killer that lurks in the darkness, waiting for his next victim to pick him up. We begin the song with a simple and steady drum beat, with a guitar and bass within the mix. At the forefront, we have Ray Manzarek's beautiful Rhodes piano playing, sounding like synthesized raindrops descending from the thunder-filled clouds above. This cool opening sets up what is one of the most atmospheric songs of all time, with an aura that is equally as intriguing and relaxed as it is mysterious and horrifying. Just as soon as we begin to get situated into the environment that the song paints, Jim Morrison whispers, Riders on the storm Riders on the storm Jim Morrison states the very thing that he saw himself as by using this as a way of talking about life, referring to it as a storm. Into this house we're born we are born into this world against our own wishes, and on top of that, into this world we're thrown. 
We are also thrown into this world, the storm, and expected to ride out the storm as if it's lacking in meaning. Like a dog without a bone and actor out alone. These metaphors directly reference the lack of meaning in their existence. The dog without a bone is a metaphor in two ways, where a dog is literally meaningless in existence without its bone or something to hold on to. The other meaning is in the sense of being thrown a bone, something that gives you that meaning. But here you stand without said bone. The other saying of an actor out on loan also has a double meaning. Like a professional actor who owes money instead of making money, while also being a cog in the machine of life. An actor, and in this life, you are born to constantly give yourself without receiving anything. Thus, tying these two metaphors together. Within this meaningless journey through life exists the murky corners, the darkness that hides within. There's a killer on the road. And when I said darkness, I meant it. This killer is lurking and is not of a clean state of mind. It's through this discussion of the darkness in this world that Morrison tells the parents of the world to Take a long holiday Let your children play The reason why Morrison tells us this is because these children have a blissful innocence to them and to let them have a chance to express it. This is because innocence, in a very moment, can be overtaken by darkness through something as simple as a car ride. These few previous lines were in reference to a real-life serial killer by the name of William Cook Jr., aka Billy Cook. In the year of 1950, Billy Cook would begin a 22-day rampage where he would murder six people including a family of five. How would he murder them and choose his victims? By those who picked him up and gave him a ride as a hitchhiker. He was known as the Hitchhiker Killer for those who picked him up were his victims. He showed no remorse for killing the family of five as the youngest was a three-year-old toddler named Pamela Sue Moser. This element of showing how innocence can be taken away in an instant only continues to show the deep underpinnings of life. Girl, you gotta love your man. Girl, you gotta love your man. A simple and honest gesture is what Morrison is suggesting here. This line begins to display the idea that men only find their meaning through the woman or women that they are with. Take him by the hand. Make him understand. This message of placing a man's meaning in a woman is compounded into the world that men live in are all created underneath the condition of a woman's touch, a woman's meaning. The world on you depends on if they were to dismantle us, our world would crash and burn, but when we have a woman that gives us that meaning, we feel ourselves ascend to an almost euphoric state of endless love and devotion. However, this is simply not enough. Sometimes men cannot get the love of a woman, or even then, sometimes meaning can't be derived from a significant other. This is where Morrison repeats the first verse of the song. The song concludes with Jim Morrison telling us what we all are, and that is Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm. As the song comes to a close, we hear the Rhodes piano keys almost take us into another worldly place, one of both beautiful harmony and mysterious underlying terror. Simultaneously, the Rhodes piano fades away. The keys give us life while allowing us to feel like it could be the end of life as we know it. Each spurt of keys representing a faint breath struggling to find meaning within the rain and the storm in the background of the song. But before we know it, the keys end, with the only thing remaining is the storm. The very thing that the song starts with is the same thing the song ends with, just like the world of life that surrounds us. No matter how we plan our lives, 
Life will continue around us and it's up to us to find our own meaning. The very message of the song leaves us questioning our own existence and have we left an impact or will we be forgotten as the world moves on without your memory? No matter what though, whether we find our meaning through love and avoid the darkness of life or we remain meaningless to the end of our days, we all remain as one thing, riders on the storm. Guys, Riders on the Storm is a perfect example of why music is one of the best forms of art ever made. This is due to the magnificent instrumentation and the deeply interesting and simplistic lyrics that accompany the song. The song manages to bring out feelings of enjoyment while being one hell of a deeply haunting song that questions life as we know it. When paying attention to the song, it may leave you with the question of what is your meaning in life? What gives your life any meaning? The argument that there is no meaning to life and we are all born to be overcast by the storm of life is just a dark message for any song to have, but nonetheless is a remarkable and daring message to say the least. This is Jim Morrison's Riders on the Storm. 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 